just had a complete disaster. Mark's just reversed into a gate and we're stuck on it. God knows how he's going to get off this now. Oh my God, we're a mess. What are we going to do? <gasps> oh, I don't know what we're going to do. Jammed up against it, Lisa. Yeah, I know. I don't know how we can get out. You're just putting a bigger roll into the side of the van. Do you not need to change your wheels around the other way and go the other way? I don't know, I ain't got a clue. It's solid, it's bolted in, isn't it? Oh God, it's making a right mess every time you move, I'll look. have to go backwards, aren't I? It's <sighs> like that. I think it's a block it road now as well. Turn your wheels the other way, isn't it? Right, you're off. Turn your wheels the other way now. Right. Right, you're out. That's just been a costly disaster, hasn't it? Oh my God, look at the state of the bus. Thanks, Gate. Wow, and that's the damage. God knows what we're going to do about that. Thought it would clear. Well, it's the only place I got to turn around there, wasn't there? So they all sat there, but brought me down here. <laughs> So we've just we passed this car park on the way here and we it looked it, full. It past, but, well it looked full and your finger on your phone said it were down there where it's took us. Yeah, so we carried on going to some agricultural car park, but this is it. And unfortunately when we've gone to turn round, that gate has caught your back end, hasn't it? And it couldn't be moved, it were bolted into ground. Yeah, we it? couldn't I tried shift to move it. it. It wouldn't move. But the overhang is uh, the problem on these motorhomes that it swings round a bit and I thought I would clear at gate, but I uh, weren't, so there you go. So that is a proper disaster. Well, parked up, aren't we, after well, all we've that? we've finally found a spot. I've got to put it back in my mind or it's going to bug me all day. Uh, yeah, we're in Batewell Bridge Car Park and the kind gentleman's just moved a corn. Like I said, we did see that space and we thought there was something wrong with it, so we didn't. We drove right past, didn't we? Mm -hmm. So there's three spaces here for longer vehicles. Three or four, isn't it? Yeah. And it's on an A... I call them APNRs. What's it called, Mark? Ca camera, it's camera recognition. So it's two... Two hours, three pound, uh, up to all day, which is six pound. So it's not bad at all, really. Really good price. So make sure if you come to this car park, you don't overshoot it and go and try and turn around down the road and gouge all the back of your boat drum out. No. So. That's going to cost you a few Chinese, isn't it? Come back to the van. Mark's going to have to change his trainers because he's on, got cream trainers on and it's absolutely boggy as hell out here with the water and the snow. We're going to have a look at the side of the van again while he's wet, while he's doing that. Yeah, it's bad. Nice it time. is bad. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Mark said it can be repaired. So well, we'll it's see. It's metal bit what's damaged, isn't it? Yeah, Mark said it's, as long as it's this bit that's damaged, it can be repaired. If that had all been come off and that... Fiberglass, isn't it? All this lower bit. It would have been screwed. It, it, of course, it's poking over in the aluminium, but it hasn't done. Thankfully, this side of this, these vans are quite well made and it's aluminium. It's just nicked the little edge in there, but yeah, that'll just touch there, it. Not it? fussed about that. What a mess. Well, it's not damaged any of this, you see. Well, I thought when you start moving again, it started gouging into that bit there, you see. Never mind, at least the farmer's gate didn't get damaged. I don't know what that one made out of, but crass. It was bolted in, I couldn't move it, could it? So. <sighs> But uh, all I need to do now is fall off this bridge up here at Riverhead first, don't it? I wouldn't even laugh about that. So we just found another Green King. That's where we've just left in Congleton. Mm. And we got load last night for his money, didn't we? But this Green King seems to be a posh Green King. Mm. And they wanted £13 for a burger. Thirteen ninety nine for a burger with camembert and stuff. Yeah, like that, so. camembert on a burger. Mm. So yeah, we've walked in and walked back out. Walked down the road and we've ended up getting chippy. And I've got that. £11.50. 
Bargain, I've, I've isn't it? I've even got a drink with that as well, haven't I? Yeah. What is it? You didn't get fish, did you? You got battered, oh, battered jumbo sausages, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, fish, as you'll know, in, in chip shops now are really expensive. It was 6.25 in there. Oh, or not a, bad. a mini, mini cod, 4.25. Mm, not, not bad. Not bad, is it, really? No. Get these eaten and let's get looking round. Bait, bait well, mm. for your bait well, tart. I've seen a sign for it. <laughs> I already know what they look like bakewood tarts, I mean not like what you think, they're not like the... They're not like Mr Kipling's ones? No. So, food done, we can carry on now. We'll just come round the corner and there's another fish and chips there. We couldn't find one a minute ago, could we? No, we're looking all over town for one and then found one, like buses, found one then another one comes along. And you went to the spa to get a sandwich, didn't you? It was chicken and... Uh, chicken and stuffing. But we had that last night, didn't we? Yeah. So this is bait, well, look at this. All little shops and streets everywhere, so we'll go and have a find and we'll go and have a look and see what we can find. It is famed for its bakewell tart, which uh, I'm sure you will have heard of previously, but it's not like the ones you get on the supermarket shelves, is it? Okay. Uh, well, we we'll show us then, we'll, we'll go find some and you can show us all. If we, if we do find one, we'll show you what one looks like. So I think there's one up here, so we'll go and have a look. Come on then. Reminds me of Howarth here. Little shops and streets everywhere. Yeah. Oh please no. Oh guys. As if there's a Chinese takeaway in a place like this. You get a menu and everything for free. They're giving menus away. For free. Right, well that's your souvenir from Baitwell then, isn't it? It's a big menu, we must do loads. And it's alright if you're hard of sight or you can't see very <laughs> hard well. Hard of sight? Quite big rice. Come on, well. we all want to know how much is chicken fried rice. Yeah, foo yuan, beef, curry. Fried rice dishes, here we go. We do a pineapple fried rice. How much is your chicken fried rice? 6 20. That's not bad. Not, not bad, is it? Well yet, done. No. Eastern Court. Get yourself to Eastern Court. Yeah, so we can't try it and tell you what it's like, but prices are quite reasonable, guys, if it was Chinese in Bakewell. Rating on the on the door. Which oh, is we're not going three. down that route now. So that's satisfactory. So it probably needs a few improvements. So we've just seen this behind us as well. Comments below if you know what it is. Bakewell pudding factory, pudding parlour and shop. What's a Bakewell pudding? Mm -mm. Similar to tart, isn't it? I'll show you what it is now. Pizzas. Yeah, it's like a, a, a shop of everything. So we've just come across this bridge. It's, I thought they only did this in abroad really but they've yeah. put locks on you know where you put your name on or you have it engraved or someone's passed away crazy i would want to i won't have to be the one with the bolt cutters to come and get them off no, there's millions similar. there's not even any space to get any more on so what people are doing they're adding them onto the ones that are already there by the looks of it we're trying to find the oldest one but i think we'll be here for quite some time trying to find that Box and core. Oh, look at these! Look at these T-shirts. Woody, look at that ball. It's funny, not it? It's like. Can it's how do that to dog? No. no. Woody's dreaming here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no! Look at these. Right. Toys, barber boots. Oh, yeah. Charcoal cobs. Mm. What are they, what do they aid for a dog? Thank you, bye. So, salmon bites and cheese and bacon bites. Mm -hmm. Toasties. We'll get these for you, order. So, that shop's called Barks and Co. And they've got everything. If you need anything, oh, these little special treats. The ladies just give Woody a biscuit as well. Oh. A chicken chicken bone biscuit. So, Barks and Co. in Bakewell. Get yourself in there and treat your doggy. Woody's going to love these. So, we found coffee and we found cake. We're also going to give Woody. Is chicken biscuit from Box and Co. just Massive, down the road. 
It's huge. Thank you for giving him that. I appreciate that. The lady was lovely in there. Well, I've got a thing in there. You've got a caramel slice like you like them. And what have you got? Look at Woody's biscuit though. Are you ready for this? Look at the size of that! He's going to die when he sees this, Mark. I'll give, him in, give it to him in a minute. I've gone forward. Well, where are we? Very We're in Bertwell. So what do you do when you're in Bertwell? Get a Bertwell tart. Mmm. Mm. Is it warm? No, no, no. So let's see what Woody thinks about this um, chicken biscuit. Look at the size of that, Woodston. <laughs> what have you got? Say thank you to the nice lady. Well, he's devoured that. He nearly beat us, didn't he? Yeah. That's ridiculous, Woody. How could you be eating that? Chicken bones, isn't that? No, there's no more. I love the cool crafty shops like this. They're proper, proper nice. Hey Lisa, look. What? I found a patch for the side of the van where I gouged it all in it, look. Oh yeah, great stuff. That'll look brilliant, Mark. Here you want to put a big sticker over it, a big Northern on toast sticker, or even better, still some Chinese menus. Start to stick them to the side of the van. You're treading on very thin ass, boy. I'm telling yeah. you. So we've just come round the corner and we've spotted something very strange. A beautiful cottage, but they're selling... Austrian sausage. Imported directly from Vienna. Have a look at this. And the waitress said. Lovely cottage. I don't know how you say that, Mark. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Sea roller stew, bro. Pum pumpkin seed oil stretzel. Sausage and bean shop. Soup, bratwurst, corn bait, apple strudel. That's apple shoe and lint it. Dog's welcome. So if you're in Bakewell and you don't want any tart, come and get some strudel. And it's not busy today, thankfully, is it? These places no. get rammers in summer, don't they? Oh yeah, you won't get anywhere near in summer here. <laughs> Definitely won't get in one of them spot parking spaces unless you're really lucky. We were we were really lucky today. Or else we'd have been heading straight home, wouldn't we? Yeah, we had a bit of luck after disaster, didn't we? But uh, you need a lot more luck to outdo that disaster, I think, today. We found another pudding shop and we found a pudding to show you. I don't know what it is. It doesn't look very tasty. But that... It looks like ...is it, a pudding. It? A Bakewell pudding. I think I prefer the tart version, do you? I like that. Look at that. Look These look nice though. Pepper and cheese breads. Look at those. Turn into a bit of a food vlog this month. Let's move on. So I've just been and paid for the ticket and we got here at 11.50 and we're leaving at 16 minutes past three and it's cost us five pound. Not bad really for a motorhome anyway. They only like to charge differently for a motorhome, don't they? So let's get back to the van and tell him. So that's us back in the van. We've had a really nice day in Bakewell today, haven't we? Yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? Apart from the obvious. Don't even mention it. Disaster. Uh, I had actually forgot about that, then, that until you said then. But yeah, we'll keep you up to date with what happens with the van. That's going to need some work on it, isn't it? I've got a plan what to do with that. I dread to think. I got my Bakewell tart. Mark got his fish and chips and Woody got loads of treats. I got battered sausage, chips and curry. You did? Woody's got loads of treats from Bark and Co. Thank you very much again for that. Regarding Woody, I've had a message from one of our subscribers who's got two little shih tzus, um, Minnie and Daisy. Apparently they love watching Woody on our vlogs because of course he is the star. Does anyone like watching us? <laughs> if you've got any animals that love watching Woody, Put in the comments below and we'll give them a shout out. If you'd like a shout out, let us know in the comments below and we can always arrange it. But for now, we're heading back north. Gonna get a certain little van looked at. And we will probably catch you on the next one. If you'd liked what you've seen, please comment, like and subscribe. And remember to catch us on our Instagram and Facebook pages. And we will catch you on the next one. <laughs>